Oh, get it. <laughs> what? Here you go. Oh my goodness, it's a cat attack. Just to clarify, the cats aren't fighting. <laughs> it may look like they're fighting, but they're not. They do this like seven times a day and they both initiate the playing. So it's not one-sided. Um, <laughs> it looks rough, I promise you, it really isn't. They're just insane. You don't kick him in the face. JJ. <laughs> You're enjoying that toy a lot. Your tail's even getting poofy. Okay, well, you have fun with that, and I'm gonna go see the rabbits. Bye. I wonder what's new with the buns. Buns! What are you guys doing? Nothing. <laughs> One thing that I did get done that I said I was going to a while ago was get, this is crooked. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we're gonna ignore the fact that this plate is on crooked. But this is a dimmer switch for the room, so it can go on and then you can also like, can you tell? <laughs> it's dimming. So I love that. Another awesome thing I haven't gotten to show you guys is the rabbit's new hay box. So this is one of the 101 rabbit's wooden hay boxes and it's a really great design. It fills, fits a lot of hay. There are these four holes here. The only thing is I just have to every couple times a day pull some more hay to the front. But other than that, it fills five pounds worth of hay, I think, which is a tremendous amount of hay. Hi, Lola. Oh, you guys are coming out to say hello. Oh my gosh, hi. Today, I'm actually going to be cutting their nails and I thought I would uh, show you guys because I, I do two methods of cutting their nails because both of the rabbits are different. Cleo's fine with one method and Lola is <laughs> difficult. <laughs> hey Lola, you only like certain ways to clip your nails, hey? But we have to do it. Rabbit snails grow pretty fast, so you're often going to have to cut them. Usually, it's best to do it once a month. Um, sometimes you can do every couple months, but it's best to do it every month. So the method for Cleo I use is a towel, and I have to be super careful because rabbits are smart, and Cleo can figure out what the towel means real quick. But these are the clippers that I use on the rabbits. They are like... Um, cat ones I guess they work fine for rabbits but um so step one is catch Cleo in a towel. Uh come here <laughs> Cleo you were so good today. Okay you're not gonna really get a good shot but essentially she's in a bun burrito and then I'm gonna cut her nails. Oh, you have too much fluff. <laughs> so to do Cleo's bottom feet, it's a little harder. You don't want to lean them on their back, but I just kind of clear a way to see. Holding her up and down, not on her back. So I've got 
gotten the majority of Cleo's nails, and they all seem to be decently short, so she's not having fun, so just gonna let her go, and then I'll give her some treats. And Zoe, you have to do that, or else you're gonna go too long. Now we're full of hair. Now, Lola's method is a little bit of a different way. Because Lola doesn't like being wrapped in a towel, it stresses her out way too much, and I'm really scared she'll kick in and just break her back. And we don't want that to happen. So what I do is I get her in a carrier, I put her up on a stool in a well-lit area. JJ, do not bother her. And then I open the carrier, I put my hand on her, and I'm able to snip and hold her paws and snip her nails. It's a very difficult method, but it's what works for me and Lola. Can I see the other paw? It's messy ass. Some of her nails are actually very short, so I'm not going to clip some of them. I don't think those need to be clipped. Let's see. Let me see this foot. Let me see your foot. Oh, your toes are very short. That's good. We only had to cut, cut a few, hey? Okay? So then she can go back. Look at the hair that is covered on me. This is this is what you get for having rabbits. Lola! <laughs> She's annoyed. Here you go. Here you go. Good job. Looks like there's mass destruction after the nail cuttings. I know you're angry, but it had to happen. Bye, nice. Do you want to come out? Is that it for tonight? Oh, Cleo's done. Okay, Lola. Time to go back. So I don't know if you guys can hear that <laughs> noise. But that's Lenny's wheel. Lenny, your wheel keeps hitting the side of your cage. It's very loud. So here is Mr. Lenny. He's actually doing pretty good. Um, he's been coming out a little bit earlier now. I think he comes out about like 10, maybe 9.30. I've caught him a couple times now. I'm also excited because I ordered off of Etsy from a shop in BC. This is just some dandelion root. I don't know why it's so hard to find this, but I could only find it on like one shop that's in Canada. So I got some dandelion root for Lenny. Dandelion root is really good for hamster teeth and it has a lot of good properties as well. So I'm gonna give Lenny one of these. You like this? A dandelion root? What is that? Lenny, are you gonna take it? Are you listening to the rabbit? Yeah. I'm just listening to the rabbits. You gonna take your root? Oh, you're gonna pouch it. Can you do that? Oh, it's kind of sticking out. Oh my goodness. Oh no, it's still sticking out. It's still right there. 
I'm gonna push it in. Are you gonna fix it? I don't know if you should pouch it. It's not, it's kind of too big. Yeah, chew it a bit. No, I think you should chew it in half. That might be helpful. <laughs> or don't listen to anything I say. You're gonna have to chew it. Yeah, like that. No, no, no. Ay, ay, ay. Did you get it? Oh, I think you fit it all. Well, your method worked. So Lenny did go back into his house. Um, as you may know, <laughs> hi, Lenny just isn't into human interaction. So I keep it simple to just weighing him, giving him a treat like that so you guys don't get to see him. <laughs> super long and I really really do apologize. I do want to do a video on the subject so maybe that'll be my next topic to talk about but that is it for this video and I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing every one of the pets and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!